COVID and she was convinced she had COVID and she was afraid of t getting tested. Being sick at all in these times of coronavirus is stressful. today it is Tuesday it is a nice warmish morning it's not even freezing okay it's probably like 40 degrees but maybe not even that probably a 30 something but it's not 20 something it's not snowing it's not bitter and yesterday it was 55 degrees Woo! It's starting to feel like spring guys I know it's still the middle of February but it's starting to feel a little bit like spring so um, I'm up this morning because I'm taking Finn to school I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen today. Yesterday, Eloise got really sick and was throwing up. I'm debating whether or not it was a 24 hour bug that she just picked up some random place or whether or not she needs to be COVID tested. I really don't know. I think I'm gonna call them and ask because I really don't know if vomit is cause for a COVID test. No one else appears to be ill. No one has a temperature or anything. So I don't know if we're going to be going to clogging class today. Um, we did get a package from a little friend, a little YouTube subscriber. It was for Jasper's birthday. She wanted to send it a while back, but it just didn't work out at Christmas time. And she still wanted to send him a little something. So I have that to open later. And I'm probably going to attempt to begin stoning. Yes, stoning is a word. Eloise's jazz costume. Oh, finally, Phineas has joined us. Good morning, Phineas. Hi. It's not that cold today, huh? Are you awake? No. <laughs> it's about as awake as I feel. All right, well, we're heading off to the school, and we'll catch you in a little while. Put your sweatshirt on. I guess it's colder than we thought. 36 degrees, but I called it, right? That was pretty close. But it did say that it's supposed to get 48 is the top and it's supposed to rain and snow later. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't rain and snow on you when you're waiting for me to forget I forgot you again. <laughs> Have a good day. I believe he just said, I won't. He's definitely a very sarcastic person. Pretty much everything that comes out of his mouth is the opposite of what you think he should or want him to say or what he really actually means. All right, well, I'm off to home. We'll see what happens. I just got home and I realized I'm supposed to do the chicken bucket workout today. And I was thinking, ooh, I'm gonna get it in this morning just in case it snows and rains. And I got home and I saw this and I remembered. Dave went and got chicken feed yesterday and he never took the barrels off the trailer. So that means if I'm gonna do the chicken bucket workout, I would have to do it out here in the front yard in front of everybody. I don't know if I'm that brave. I mean, not like there's anybody around, but yeah. Morning, ladies. Well, it looks like they actually do have enough food. Looks like Dave must have fed them last night. Where's my chicken bucket? I don't even got no chicken bucket. Did he fill the chicken bucket? Yeah, he did. How am I supposed to do the chicken bucket workout if he fills the chicken bucket? I could do it right here. Maybe I will. The only thing I can't think of, think of how to do is the push-ups. I got this little thing here, I guess I could attempt it. I don't know, I guess we'll see.
Well, guys, we did it, Snow Queen. Did we do it? Nobody pecked me in the process. She's like, what is happening? Why am I on TV? Hi. She's so dirty. We had this weird rain that was basically full of dust and mud, and she's literally covered in it. Hi, Snow Queen. Hi, oh, baby. All right, well, okay. Apparently she didn't want to be held anymore. Other than slipping in poop when I was trying to do the uh, push-ups, that didn't go so bad. That and the fact that the chickens are everywhere over here being very annoying and loud. Not that you guys could hear it, but yeah. I'm gonna get out of here because there's like six of them in the box trying to lay and I'm apparently extremely distracting, so that was fun. Hello, Roxy. Are we having a party in here, huh? Having a party? I looked in there just a minute ago and there were like four chickens trying to lay eggs at the same time. Chickens are so weird. They only lay eggs when everyone else is laying eggs and they only lay eggs in the same box everyone else laid them in. Oh good, I got one. There was one in there. Okay, that's it for today, I think. Chicken bucket wise, I'm exhausted. That was fun, but I don't really like doing it in here for obvious reasons. Chickens attacked me. They didn't do too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside and see how Eloise is feeling. Good morning. Hmm, well, her fever is at least, I mean, there's no fever. How are you feeling this morning? My stomach still hurts. Stomach still hurts? I'm sorry. All right, well, it's almost noon and um, Eloise is still kind of sick. She's been throwing up still today, just like she was yesterday. Um, I've looked it up online and I just, it doesn't say that throwing up is a testing symptom for COVID and she was convinced she had COVID and she was afraid of t getting tested. So I've convinced her that it's just a stomach bug and that we don't need to worry about it and I'm not gonna stress unless she has other COVID symptoms. So, so far, no fever, anything weird, or breathing problems, or loss of taste and smell. If all of a sudden she loses her taste and smell, we'll be going like immediately, or if she gets a fever. So for now, we're just counting it as a stomach bug, and I know it's weird because this is our first illness in over a year. Our last illness of any kind, not even a cold, was last January when the three or four of the kids got the flu, the actual flu, not COVID. So it has been crazy that we have avoided any kind of sickness this long. But yeah, my stomach's kind of feeling a little off too, which I usually don't catch stomach bugs. So we will see, I'm gonna keep an eye on myself. We are not gonna go to dance today for obvious reasons. We're gonna stay home since Ronnie's not teaching today at that studio. We don't have, we're not obligated to go. So we're just gonna stay home and see how it goes tomorrow. If it tomorrow they're still sick, I may debate and decide, oh, whole thing is always so complicated like we're so close to the vaccine and we basically made it almost a year without getting anything and can we please just make it to the vaccine before we get COVID or we get exposed to COVID we've been so careful all right well anyway that's the update for now um, Jasper doing his school the girls are in their room just like Eloise is laying around watching her tablet I think probably Virginia and Ruby are thinking they can get away with that and so I'm gonna go check it on them um, see if I can get them doing some more school stuff and I'm gonna make lunch and go on with the day. What are you working on? Your tablet? What else are you doing? Money. Counting money? Is that math? Does that qualify? <laughs> okay. What are you working on? Puzzle. A puzzle? Yeah. And your switch at the same time? Yeah. Hmm. Is puzzle count as math? No. It doesn't? Finding patterns doesn't count as math? 
Well, if it's not meth, what are you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? Still puking? Were you able to eat anything? Well, then it did it, it stay down? Yeah. Did it stay down? Still no fever. I think you just have a stomach bug. We just aren't used to being sick because we haven't caught anything in like a year. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's pretty normal. Let me know if you have anything weird, like if you can't taste or smell. That's the number one we got to watch for. If you have that, we have to go immediately. That's the number one. And fever, of course, but. All right. What are you working on? Nothing. Nothing? Yep. Triangles? Those look like triangles. It looks like you're playing the same game Jasper is upstairs. Match the, match the shapes. The grown up version, I guess. <laughs> the grown up version. <laughs> nice. All right, it's almost one o'clock. I haven't made lunch yet. Well, I helped Ruby and Eloise get something to eat. Eloise has been able to keep toast down and Coke, so hopefully we're on the mend. And I am coming out here to the chicken pen to see if anyone has laid any eggies this morning because there was only one when I came out at eight. So they've had plenty of time to lay their eggs at this point. Hopefully they have. I'm about to find out. Oh dear. Someone is in the box. I hope you're not broody. Are you broody? Is that sugar or Marsha? I think it's sugar. Hey sugar. Can I have your eggies? Huh? You're not gonna bite me, are you? Are you puffy? Are you puffy? If they're broody, sometimes they bite. Eh, she's not biting me. She just is. Like, what are you doing, woman? Can I have your eggs? Can I have your eggs? What do you got? You got a whole lot, don't you? Well, I feel several. Here's two. Starting with two here. Oh, where did I put the box? Oh, over here. Two. And let's get these three. One, two, three. Go. Any more underneath you, sugar, huh? Let's see. Can I see? What you got? What you got? I feel something. She's like, leave me alone, woman. Do more. <laughs> got a lot of good colors today. All right, honey, what's underneath here, huh? Can I see? Anything else? Nothing else? Man, you are really, usually they'll come out of the box when I do that. All right, thanks, sugar. Thank you, girl. Here, you can sit on this golf ball. Here you go. Sit back down. Don't know if she's broody or laying an egg. I'm guessing laying an egg because she didn't try and eat my fingers off, which they generally try and attack me if they're broody. And there has been a broody one in there who I did not break. And that's not the one that's been broody. It was one of these. That been broody, I believe it was Ceratops. Um, but we tossed her out of the box a couple of times and it's so cold out here, I think that that was sufficient. Um, for them just for her to stop being broody. Who are you who are you growing up, Sheik? Huh? What are you so worried about? Now they're all yelling because Sheik did. He's getting turquoise tail feathers now. He's getting big. He's almost a year old. Yes, those are all the pieces of our swimming pool that are behind him. <laughs> I told Dave, I'm like, we gotta come up with some better thing to do than just throw them on the ground during the winter, but we just don't know where to put them. So for now, we just left them. And we can't wait to put them back together. You done laying your egg? Looks like it. Whoop, whoo, good job, girly. I must have interrupted her right when she was about ready. Pretty little egg. All right, so. Eight, eight eggs just now and one earlier, that's nine. Man, he is really loud today. Nine eggs for today. Not a bad haul, looks really pretty. This is actually a happy birthday present. It's a happy birthday present. It came late because Sabrina's been super busy with some stuff and dealing with some hard stuff. And this is from Flowers for Wonder Girl and her sister, mostly flowers for Wonder Girl Sabrina. And it's happy birthday to Jasper. What is it? 
<gasps> it's more Minecraft Lego. Ooh. It's like a, it's a Minecraft bamboo city. That's so cool, buddy. What do you say to this? What do you say to Sabrina? Thank you so much. Do you love it? Alrighty guys, it's the afternoon. I am heading out to pick up Phineas from school. I know this morning I mentioned that I was thinking about stoning Eloise's costume, but sadly, the uh, stones, the large stones that I need to start up at the shoulder to begin the burst pattern that I'm gonna be doing on her top, they still have not arrived. And the ones I was going to do on the skirt were likely going to be the larger stones as well. I was going to use the smaller ones for the burst only. So I don't really feel like I can get started stoning any of it, which is kind of troublesome and a pain, but it is what it is. So I was hoping they would show up. They still have not. If they show up sometime in the afternoon, I will start working on it probably um, because I have not got anything else to do since we aren't going to dance because of Eloise being sick. My stomach is also bothering me. I don't know. I don't usually catch stomach bugs. My stomach is kind of bothering me, but who knows? I mean, could be that, could be just coincidence. I'm not stressing over it just yet. Though, honestly, being sick at all in these times of coronavirus is stressful. I really don't want us to catch coronavirus. Like, really, 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 really don't. After being so long without catching it. And the case counts are down. Like in Thanksgiving and Christmas time, we were having like 3,000 or more, sometimes 4,000 cases a day. We are down to like between 500 and 1,000 cases a day now. People are staying in more, more people are getting the vaccine. People are just obviously doing a better job not getting it. So there's that. Um, yeah, so anyway, we'll keep you updated. Obviously, I'm not stressed about it right now. I'm going to talk to Dave about it later and see what he thinks. For right now, she has no symptoms that are concerning except her stomach. And no one else is getting sick, at least not yet. So with coronavirus, like if everyone got sick and they were all barfing, we would know it was just a stomach bug. With coronavirus, it affects everybody so differently. If all of a sudden somebody had a sore throat or all of a sudden somebody was coughing, I might be concerned. But for right now, nobody else is sick. So, except for me, my stomach. So, that's that's where we're at that. Anyway, I'm heading to the school to pick up Finn. And I don't know whether we're going to do the rest of the day now because of this whole thing. So, it's kind of ended up being a flop day other than Jasper's Minecraft Legos, which he tried really hard to put together. He needs some help and Oliver didn't feel like helping him today. So, I guess he's not going to be... Finishing, the, finishing them up, but thank you so much, Sabrina, for thinking of him and sending him something he likes. Super, super sweet of you. Appreciate it. Hello. Hello. How did it go today? Fine. You're awake? Failing in math. You're failing in math? He always says things like that. He thinks he's gonna, he thinks I'm gonna fall for it. I have a one. Why do you have a one? Because <laughs> I got 40% of my test. Oh no, can you retake it? I am today. Uh, did you not study? Do you need help? I don't know the subject. Why don't you know the subject? Weren't you supposed to study? Well, sounds like you gotta start studying. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that's fun. I guess we're heading home. Find something else to do. We're not gonna go to clogging because Eloise is still throwing up. Dang. I know, I thought she was getting better. And then... I thought we have some alone time. <laughs> dang it, because we're not leaving. Yeah. Not dang it, because your sister's really sick. Yeah. Here, I thought you were like being so nice. What? No, I just want some alone time. Yeah, remember what we said this morning about what he says? What he really means? Inside my mother's heart, I know he really means the opposite of what he says. She's doing clogging, right? Clogging! <laughs> I can barely even see her. I really don't know. <laughs> Remember, they're backwards too, so you have to do the opposite of what they're doing because they're facing you.
Yeah, so like you would be turned around like this. You know what? If you turned around and looked at the thing in the mirror, you might be able to see it better. That might make more sense, actually. Can you see it in the mirror at all? Yeah, but it's shiny. Mm. Yep. Oh, I'm almost as tired tonight as I was when I usually go to class. <laughs> that was kind of weird doing class on Zoom. We haven't done that in a few months. We did that all the time last year. You guys remember that? How we did everything on Zoom and we had like four classes going on in four different rooms and Ronnie was teaching ballet from the one room and we were doing clogging out in the front yard. Oh my gosh. And in the basement. It was crazy. Remember that? That was fun. <laughs> I actually like that better. Like the, the chaos of doing that. Than, better than sitting in my car for three, four hours like I do every night. It's much more fun to do it at home, especially now the girls have that floor. That was nice. So anyway, it was a day. Hopefully Eloise is going to feel better tomorrow. Hopefully the stones will show up so I can start working on her costume. Tomorrow I actually have to go to the dentist. It's time for my cleaning and I don't enjoy that because I have really sensitive teeth and it takes like an hour to clean my teeth. I don't know why it takes so long, but it just does because I have cruddy teeth. I don't know. Even though I had braces and now that I have retainers behind, it's even worse. But yeah, I am going to the dentist tomorrow, so I'll probably take you with me. We'll see. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and seek your truth. Bye, Seekers. Find us later. Bye, Bye. Bye.